Tom, 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 Hello, ladies and gentlemen of the internet, how's it going? My name's Ice, and as always, welcome back for yet another episode of the Gaming Express series, the series in which we give our first impressions on newly released titles or indie games that are currently in development, such as the following one, which is called Papers, Please. This game's been developed by a company called Ducope, created by a man named Lucas Pope which is written, of course, down below the title. Uh, you can actually try out this game, which is currently in beta, at ducope.com, that is D-U-K-O-P-E dot com. And this is actually one of the three games which are featured on the official website, the two other being Six Degrees of Sabotage and The Republic of Times. All of those three games actually take place in the olden days of uh, the World War eras and the, the 80s and the 70s around that period of time, and as you might have noticed already, the, the theme of this game, of Papers, Please, is very reminiscent of the old, old, olden days of the 80s and the 70s, and uh, this is actually a game that takes place in a fictitious world that uh, kind of looks like Soviet Russia, the Soviet Union, but it's not, so it's actually a fictional version of the Soviet Union. And the Papers, Please characters, the design of the game is very... It kind of looks like uh, letters from the Soviet Union. Very bold characters, harsh-looking, banal characters. Um, so, right now, what you're seeing is the main screen, the, the main menu screen. There is no options available here, unfortunately, but you can put your name in this game and be featured as one of the NPCs which appear in the game. And uh, without further ado, let's actually try out the game before I bore you out with this uh, boring me menu screen. Congratulations! The October Labor Lottery is complete. Your name was pulled. For immediate placement, report to the Minister of Admission at Greston Border Checkpoint. An apartment will be provided for you and your family in East Greston. Expe expect a Class 8 dwelling. Glory to Artsatska. That's actually not an existing country, just saying. Greston Border Checkpoint opens at last. After six long years, can the Ministry of Admission keep us safe? Families to reunite. Walk to work. So, what you're going to be seeing is basically the borders. Your job in the game is to be the inspector of the borders, and you're going to let people in depending on their status, citizenship, and their gender, and you're gonna have to check their passport and see which country they're from. So, how the game plays out is actually interesting. The interface already is unique. I haven't seen a game that has a, such, such of an inter interface. We're gonna be seeing the interface in depth right now. Let, let's just read this for now. Um, Inspector, welcome to your new position at Greston Border. Checkpoint, stamp, passport, entry, vi visa, and return documents to entry. Entry is restricted to Artsatskan citizens only. Deny all foreigners glory to Artsatska. So we're going to we're gonna let people in using this thing. So we're going to stamp people's passport depending on their status. If, if they're not allowed to come in, we're going to deny them like this. Uh, but you can't see the mark here because obviously we're not stamping a, a passport. You can close this by clicking this, of course. And then you have this thing, which is basically like a guidebook. Um, the rules here, entrance must have a passport, Artsatskin citizens only. So you're going to be using these these rules in order to see who you can let in and who, who can't come in. These are all of the countries which are featured in this game. So people come in from all different places. You're going to have to check from which country they're issued from. And these are the document seals. Um, these aren't really important right now, so what we're going to want to do is keep this to the side, and we can put this... Actually, let's check the other pages. So, pay attention to passport nationality. And this is actually the, the time. So right now it's, it's 1982, the 11th uh, month of... Actually, yeah, it's the 23rd. 
This is our audio transcript. Time and date, I already said it. The shutter, that's basically to open the window for, you know, in order to see people. And then news, families, blah, blah, blah. That's not important right now. We're going to set that back into our thing here. So yeah, I really like, love the pixelated look here. Very simplistic, but endearing. Um, this game isn't particularly fun, but it's it 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 has it doesn't have to be about fun, right? And this game actually educates you on the world, the 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 life of job of uh, sorry citizen inspectors. So right now we have Alexander Noel. He's male. That's right. Uh, the expiration date is valid, so we're in 1982. Let's see, he's from Artsotska, so we're gonna let him in. And actually, let's check if Paradisna is an issued city. Yep, it is, so we're gonna let him in. Doing this, approving him. Oh, God. And you're gonna wanna drop that to him. Glory to Artsotska, thank you. So there is no actual voice acting here, just a little, a bunch of gibberish going on in the background. You can't really understand it. Simic Olivia from Tsunkaido. Tsunkaido, she's from Impor. She's not from Artsatska, so she's not allowed to come in. So yeah, this game is already, I mean, it doesn't feature action. It's not very flashy. It's a kind of a boring game, I'm gonna admit. But it's, it has to be boring. It's about the mundane life of citizen inspectors. Muxeri Melissa. She's, she's from Les Renati Republia. She's not allowed to come in. Denying her and giving her passport back. Unbelievable. Go to hell. Well, I'm sorry, lady, but that's life. And you got to deal with it. How about that? Papers, please. He's from Artsatska. Is that an issued city? Yes, he's male. Expiration date is right. You're good to go, sir. You can go ahead and uh, visit our beautiful homeland, which is pretty grim looking, to be honest. Okay, fifth person. And your name is? It was a mistake to open this checkpoint. Oh, that was, uh, that was kind of uh, mean, sir. But okay. Very sinister man. Progress is saved at the start of each day. Applicants processed after 6 p.m. are unpaid. So this is basically the meta, the meta part of the game, where you look at how much money you've made depending on the amount of applicants you're processed. And we've processed four people, so which that means that we had that we've gained twenty dollars or twenty uh, rubles which is <laughs> Ukraine, uh, Ukrainian money. And then we have 30 savings. So we actually spent all of our money on rent, food, heat for our family, which are, which consist of our mother-in-law, uncle, wife, and son. So right now they're all okay. They're not hungry. They're not sleepy and they have a place to live. So we can sleep in peace and proceed to the second day of our job. Creston checkpoint is success. Entry restrictions to relax, admit foreigners, the weather. Analysts upbeat, increased trade, increased trade and co cooperation predicted. I can't even read, god damn it. November 4th, 24th, 1982. So yeah, this is actually how the game works. Um, you can keep on playing and playing until you've run out of money and you fail to uh, proceed applicants successfully. If you've done your job right, then you can actually win win the game. But if you keep failing and not noticing certain uh, certain discrepancies on people's passports, then you're gonna have to be uh, fired eventually, and, and shit will happen. Anyway, Inspector, from today, foreigners with a valid passport are permitted to enter. Your booth's inspection hardware is now installed. Check, it, check all passport information carefully with for discrepancies. Deny any entrant with inconsistent information. Continued. Uh, so, foreigners with a valid passport. Um, this is the inspection mode. So basically, you highlight something, uh, you click on the date, let's say, and 
the person's the passport's expiration date and then it'll match date data uh, and that'll let you interrogate the person which is actually an interesting part of this game so let's actually open our shutter and start working as soon as you hit that thing the time will start and you have to try to pass as many applicants as possible without you know passing them through too fast because you do want to check their stuff which is featured in their passport. So, uh, foreigners are allowed. She's from Lorndaz. Oh, from Obristan. Let's see. Ah, I can't even look. This is bothering me, actually. Lorndaz is an issued city. She's female, and the expiration date is fine. So, we're going to allow her in. A little bit slow on this, I know, but I like to take my time. And I don't want to fail at all. Also, uh, you do want to check out, you, you want to check their people's gender and their faces because that will actually, it might seem stupid to, for me to say that, but sometimes you're too, you get too focused on the dates and the issued countries that you don't even look at the sex anymore or their, their picture, their passport picture. She, he's from Antigria. Let's see. Uh, blah, 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 blah. Here. Yep, that's an issued city, but uh, his uh, expiration date is invalid. So we're going to deny him. Sorry, sir, but you're not allowed to come in. Yeah, I did my job well. Hopefully, uh, I'm not going to get any, um, what is it, penalties. Actually, I'm going to show you what the penalty looks like. So the expiration date's fine. He's from, from Impor. Let's see, we're import. He's from. Oh, that's actually not a valid city. But I will approve him in and show you guys what the penalty thing looks like. So you get an MOA citation, a citation from the Ministry of uh, from Admission, and we violate. We just violated the protocol for um, allowing a citizen in, a person in with a uh, invalid issued city. So right now we don't have any serious penalties. It's just a warning, but the more of those penalties you get, uh, the the more you're bound to lose your salary, basically. So this guy's from Para Paradisna, from Artsotska. Artsotska. Yep, that's an issued city. He's male. Yep, that's that's all good, sir. You're good to go. You can come in our country and have a good time. Next person. This this game's already mundane. Yeah, it's very repetitive, but um, the more you progress, uh, the more interesting people you meet, and uh, you get, you might, the point of this game is to get, like, is to focus and not get bored too much, because if you get, if you get to that point where you're bored, then you can't even focus anymore, and you might make some mistakes eventually. So she's from Obristan. Let's see. Obristan and then from Skull. That's a yep, valid city. Actually, I'm going to Oh. So her picture is right, but she has a hat on here. Anyway, that doesn't matter. So we're gonna let her in. She's female, her everything's right about her. So uh, you're good to go. Next person. So this little counter shows you how many applicants you've let in successfully oh were issued or inspected rather I'm sorry wow uh, she's female from Artsatsk as well where is it or Vechvanor and yep that's actually uh, right woman I will be around a couple months don't for she actually gave us this thing the pink vice which I don't I'm not sure how to use it but I'm just gonna leave that here uh, she basically wants us to visit uh, a Bravo, like a like a stripping place. Her name's uh, Kapanadze Reem. She's from Kalechia. Where's Kalechia? She's our, I think she's our last applicant. So West Greston is a valid issued city. Expiration date's good. She's female, and her portrait looks good. Same as uh, what she looks here. We're gonna prove her in. 
Incoming woman, and uh, I think she's the last one, but I'm not sure. Something might happen soon. Oh, someone's go going in here. What is going on? Whoa. Uh, I don't even... He's throwing a dynamite at the police guy, and he exploded. His leg came off. The day was cut short by a terrorist attack. Oh, we, we don't have enough food for heat. Well, I mean, we don't have enough money, money to pay for our food or heat for the family, so that's quite unfortunate. So our family's gonna be a little hungry and cold, but we're gonna have to remedy that by um, letting inspecting more applicants and being better at our job. So that was a little uh, sad, actually, but shit like that happens. So, here's our third, this is our third day. Inspector, entry for non-citizens is now regulated. All foreigners require a valid entry ticket. Verify information before stamping passport entry visa. So for this day, we're gonna be using this thing, which is gonna be quite useful. Um, Let's uh, start inspecting people. Papers, please. Barrett say William. Let's see. That's a valid ticket. He's from, wait, 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 hold on a minute. He's from Republia. Come on, Republia. That is a valid city and you're good to go. Yep. Just gonna give you your entry ticket back and uh, you can come in. Next person, please. This guy looks uh, kind of goofy. Blackar Nicola from Republia. Les Renanati, that's a valid city. Oh, he doesn't have a uh, entry ticket. Let's uh, check that out. Actually, wait, 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 wait. So in order to use the discrepancy thing, you have to look for the thing that's missing. So you go to basic rules, you click, uh, foreigners require an entry ticket, and then you click this little spot. So he doesn't have any ticket. So we're gonna interrogate this guy. Foreigners must present an entry ticket. Here it is. So he does have it after all. So we can let him in because he's, all of his information is good. He just didn't have his uh, entry ticket, which is Valid. I, I actually didn't check for the date of that ticket, but I, I guess we're good. Yeah. Oh, this lady. Hello. Uh, Metadieva of. I can ha make you happy anytime. Whoa, man. I don't want to go out with some fifty-year-old lady. No thanks. Uh, she's from Impor. Let's look for that. Impor. Hi, Han. Female. She looks the same as she is here. Uh, expiration date's right. You're good to go, lady. All, all of those whores are actually really, uh, are all legal, surprisingly. Which is kind of funny, but oh well. Let's see. This guy. Kozlovsky Eric. That's a good ticket. He's from Kalechia. Let's look for that. West Greston Mail. Ah, here we go. Da, da, da. We can interrogate you. Your appearance has changed. I do not know what to say. It is me. Liar. That is not you. You can go back to where you came from. I'm sorry, but that's life. I can't let you in with uh, some kind of different face. I heard about terrorist attack. You are lucky to have a job still. Thank you. Uh, Emma from Antegria. Where is that? She's from Glorian, female. Expiration date's right. That's good. We can let you in. You're good to go. Aw, oh, that's nice of you. Especially since a terrorist attack just happened a day ago, literally. Okay, you're next. Ah, your entry ticket's not right. Let's, uh... Look at that. No correlation, really? Oh, here we go. 
this ticket is for another day. I do not know what to say. Well, you can't go in because um, your entry ticket's for another date, and I can't let you in on this day. I can't tell. I can't say anything else to you. I mean, that's what happens, g g dude, dude. Lavery de John, agent. I don't know how to spell that. Uh, from Republia. That's a valid issued city. Issuing city. Mail. It looks like his picture. Uh, you are good to go. Oh my God! I didn't even stamp that correctly, but whatever. They're not gonna penal. They're not gonna penalize us for that, thankfully. <laughs> but we're gonna have to be a little more appropriate and be respectful to people. Wait a minute. You you don't even have a passport. What is wrong with you? So here's where we use our discrepancy thing again. Uh, let's see. Entrance must have a passport, and you don't have one. Oh. Wait, wait, wait. Stop. Ah, here we go. Where's your passport? Passport. Our thoughts got so great. Passport not required, right? Passport is required. Okay, okay, I hear you. I come back again. Yes, you come back again to annoy me with your goofiness and shit. Oh, well. Papers, please. Wow, this guy's face kind of creeps me out. But I'm not going to criticize him or anything. So he's from Republia. And the day is ending soon because our our uh, clock is flashing. So that's a valid city. He's male. And he's good to go. You are okay, sir. You look fine. You don't look shady at all. I guess that's going to be our last person. Yep. Oh. Papers, please. She's from Obristan. Obristan Skull. That's a valid ticket. Oh, wait, wait a minute. That that says male, and she is not male at all. Matching data. Come on. Wait. Are you male or are you female? I can't tell. It says that here that you're a male. I am a man. What? Is he a man? I'm going to allow him, him in because I'm not totally sure if he or she looks like a man. Because I don't want to be rude, right? So I didn't get a, a penalty for that, so that's okay. Your son is sick and needs medicine. I don't have enough for that. Damn it. They're cold and hungry. I guess food's more important for health. Yeah, that was kind of sad, but we should have been a little bit faster on that. So, actually, uh, I guess that's been enough for today. I'm gonna go back to the main menu. That was pretty much Papers, Please. That's how it works. Um, it's a little boring, and it it's very repetitive, but as you play more and more of it, you start to lose your focus, and that's where you really need to start focusing, because if you start to get bored, then you might start making mistakes, and your family might die. So the point of this game is to do your job well and maintain your family and the food and rent. And, you know, you have to be able to provide your family with the salary, the mediocre salary that you get from being a job inspector in the world of the Soviet Union, which is actually called Artsatska, or that's actually not the whole continent. That's one of the countries. But, um... The game teaches you to be very, um, very, a very hardworking person. It's not actually a fun game, so to say, uh, although the game is kind of fun. It's very interesting looking, and I love the art, st the design of it, and the interface quite neat. The animations were actually, um, interesting looking, and I like how the silhouettes were moving, and the the sh shadows of people were just moving from left to right. That was really nice. And, I mean, uh, pixelated graphics might look outdated. But for this kind of game, it's actually relevant. Because the game takes place in the in the past. So, pixel pixels or not, I mean, I like the pixelated graphics. And if I had to rate this game, I would give it a... Uh, 
8 on 10 based on, I mean, the fact that it's currently in beta, it's not actually done. Uh, there might be some improvements, some new some new features, so who knows? But for now, I'll give it an 8 on 10, but if it was a finalized version, then I would have given it a lesser score otherwise. But guys, make sure to support this game on Steam Greenlight if you wish to do so. Um, thank you for watching. As always, make sure to like, comment, talk about the actual game, and I can't wait to see you next time, folks. Have a good one. Bye.